Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how you can build your own DevOps lab-like environment for learning shell scripting. Of course, this is not a powerful lab environment like Code Cloud or other lab environments that you see on the internet, but this will simulate a lab-like environment for you and it will give you a feel that you are learning shell scripting through a hands-on lab. Make sure you watch this video till the end. This is going to be super interesting. Let's get started. So we will use bold.new. Of course, you can use any other AI platforms, but for building websites, I personally find bold.new much better. Even when I'm building demo applications, I prefer bold.new. However, you can use Claude code or you can use any other AI platforms. So we'll just input it with a prompt. So we will just say bold.new, hey, can you create a DevOps lab environment which helps me learn shell scripting from absolute basics. Make sure each exercise has a different web page with theory of the command, command explanation and a playground for the command. Set up with just two lab exercises because initially I just want to show you how it looks like. So set up with just two lab exercises and make sure you follow the inputs provided. Okay. I'll just ask it to create a very basic shell script lab environment. Let's see how it can build the environment for us. Of course, you just need to uh, sign in. If you already have an account with bold.new, it's perfectly fine to use. It comes with a particular rate limiting. What does that mean? So every day you can only use a certain amount of API tokens if you're going for a free account. However, what I usually do, you know, if I exceed the free tokens, uh, I just come back after 24 hours and I continue with the project. If it is not very important, if it's a hobby project, I usually do that. But I also have a uh, account with other AI platform. I use it for my enterprise or the projects that I'm actively working on. So you don't have to take an account. You can just proceed with the free account itself. See, so it is uh, building the source code for us. You can see everything here while it is building. You can also download the source code if you don't want to use the preview environment. So once the complete code is written, it also hosts the code on uh, its own environment. And when you click on the preview, you can access the website from its environment. If you don't want to use it from there, you can download the source code. You can run the NPM commands because the project is typically built in Node.js, TypeScript, and Vite as a development server. It's okay if you don't understand the technicalities. You can just head to the preview and you can use the lab environment from here. It won't take much time because I just asked for two lab exercises. In fact, you can go up to 50, 100. There is no limit for it. Only thing is that because you have the API rate limiting or token rate limiting, you can initially ask it for 5, 10, 15. I think at 30, 40 labs, you will hit the rate limiting. Then you can ask it after 24 hours. Okay, it's almost done. You can see it already built the uh, TypeScript file. Uh, the source code is written for it. This is the final one where uh, app.tsx is being built. You can already, already see the token uh, limit because uh, I have used uh, bold.new today. I have almost used it to build uh, 50 or roughly 35 uh, lab exercises. So 
only 2k tokens are remaining for me. In your case, you will not hit it when you are going up to 25-30. Perfect. So, you can see here in the on the preview button, let me take the full screen. So, now we have a DevOps shell scripting lab and it is, uh, sorry, and this is perfectly yours. So, it is hosted on bold.new. You have the theory which explains, okay, what exactly is the ls command? This is our first lab. Click on start lab. You have everything on the left side, right? What is the syntax for ls command? What are the different options that you can pass? For example, each option is explained with an example. What is ls? What is ls uh, hyphen l? You also have the task that is given for you. So it says on the lab environment, first enter ls. Perfect, you can see the list of files. Then it says enter ls hyphen l, where you can see the list of files with the timestamp. Now, what happens if you enter ls hyphen a? It also shows the hidden files. So you can learn shell scripting with every possible detail. Also, there are some hints given to you. Let's say you are blocked. You also have some hints for you. Right? Let's go to the other lab. Okay, Abhishek, we saw the first lab that is the ls command. What happens with the second lab? So second lab is about the cd command and you get to learn each command with the same uniformity. Again, you have the syntax on the left. You have the explanation of the command. Then you have the common options for the command. What are the different uh, possibilities to use this command? Right? Now I'll just go here. I will say cd. It shows the folder for us. Again, if I do ls within it, it shows the files within the folder. So now you can use ls in combination with cd. So you have learned ls as well as cd. This way, increase it to 20 lab environment or uh, exercises, 50, 100. There is no limit for you. And you can master shell scripting. This is very basic commands that I've shown. You can also ask bold.new to increase the complexity. Trust me, as you ask it to keep increasing the complexity, you will find extraordinary shell labs. Some of those shell labs that you can that you can't even think of. For example, you can ask it to give you extremely complicated shell script, right? Or a shell command where you can use SCD with awk, with find, with grep, it can do it. Now, why did I say at the beginning of this video that these lab environments are not as good as code cloud or they are not even comparable to code cloud because, you know, they are static labs. For example, if I run the find command here, it says find command not found. Or if I just run grep command here, it again says grep command not found. It's not that grep is not installed. Basically, these are static lab environments. That means you don't get access to a virtual machine, but everything that you see here is actually hard coded in the source code. So when you enter ls command, it is hard coded in the source code that this should be the output, right? If you try to remove a particular file or a folder, it won't work because as I told you, this is a static lab environment. This lab environment only works for the specific command that you are seeing in the exercise. It works absolutely fine for CD, but it does not create or it does not switch between the directories. It only returns the output that is hard coded in the TypeScript file by the bold.new. That's why it's a simulation of the lab environment. It's not an actual lab environment. But still, if you want to learn shell scripting, you can actually do it. Go exercise by exercise, create up to 50, 100 lab environments. You will have fun learning shell script. Just spend a day on it and you will see why am I talking so much about this simulation of lab environments. This is only for beginners. If you are good at shell scripting, you don't have to use it. You can just go to EC2 instance. You can practice your own labs or you can watch this video where I've talked about real lab environments.
for example play with docker play with kubernetes code cloud killer coda these are real lab environments compared to the simulation of lab environment which we did with bold.new however i want to share this useful information with you so that you don't miss out on the exciting part if you have any questions related to it just comment down and i'm more than happy to reply to your comment see you all in the next video with more such interesting content take care everyone bye bye